Okay, today is Tuesday, April 28th, day number 41 of lockdown. I'm Henry with the Chamber, stationed here at home base, and I have some great news for everybody. Great news. My mask finally came in. I can go out in public now without fear of... What? Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll get to that in just a minute. Yesterday, the team and I spent quite a bit of time prepping for The Pulse, our new interview show that will launch Wednesday afternoon at 3, sponsored by American National Bank and Trust. My first interview will be with Mayor Steven Santiana, and who knows what we'll find to talk about. Probably what's going on with masks. All right, yesterday I uh, participated in a board meeting for the Texas Chamber of Commerce Executives. That's a group of chamber execs, a statewide group that work to do professional development and advocacy for chambers of commerce. We had a turnaround task force meeting talking about what happens next. And the cool highlight of the day, watched Ferris Bueller with the kids. Uh, a couple of them had seen it a little bit before, but didn't really remember it. Uh, I know one of them had not seen it. But it's so underrated, I forget how good it is, and we just had a good time laughing last night. I'm prepping for a podcast about Ferris Bueller with uh, Scotty and Shannon Coppage this weekend, so I've got to watch it just to catch up. Probably going to look at it again before the, the week's over. It's just awesome. It's on Netflix if you haven't seen it in a while. All right, so here's what happened yesterday. The president has signed off on the new business relief bill, so the Paycheck Protection Program is funded and taking new applications. The Economic Injury Disaster Loan is funded, but is not taking new applications at this point. So if you are already in the queue, you're going to be considered. But if you're not, you're going to have to wait. All right, back to masks. Here's what happened yesterday in the state of Texas. The governor came out, made some new announcements, and this is the gist of it. So effective Friday, not today, effective Friday, all retail, restaurants, malls, museums, libraries, and theaters can open. There are some restrictions, so you need to look at that. And the, the main one is you can only allow in 25% of your total allowable occupancy. And if you don't know what that number is, find your certificate of occupancy because the number is there. And if you cannot find that, you can call the local fire marshal and uh, they should be able to help you figure that out. In addition, all licensed healthcare professionals can resume operations. What cannot happen yet, bars, gyms, and hair salons, the governor specifically identified as not open yet. He mentioned May 18th as the earliest possible date for phase two, depending on what happens between now and then with confirmed cases and so on. And so good news and bad news, right? And then the big news, and it's funny, this is good news for some people and bad news for other, is that the governor said municipalities and counties cannot fine you and cannot require you to wear masks. They cannot fine you for it. So that is immediate, what I'm told. The other things I just mentioned will happen on Friday, May the 1st. So as a result of this, last night the county rescinded their order the city council has a meeting called for tomorrow where they may do the same thing. So here's the interesting point because we're in limbo right now. So what happens in the meantime? Say you're a retailer and you know that Friday or a restaurant, you know that Friday you're going to be able to open up. Well, it's not Friday yet. And so I've already seen some restaurants and some stores opening up. The question is, what's going to happen if you do that? And I do not have the answer to that question. If the city's going to the city or the county will still be enforcing any of those rules or not. So just be careful. If you want to talk through it one-on-one -on -one with me, send me a note on Facebook or email me at henry at wichitafallschamber.com and I'll be happy to visit with you today or tonight or tomorrow, whatever, just to help you better understand what you can do today and better understand what you ought to be preparing for on Friday. Again, this is the biggest debate any of us are ever going to have in our lifetime. I can't imagine anything bigger. And our elected officials have, are, are making tough decisions. And right now, I don't care what decision you make, half the crowd or more is going to hate what you did. Governor Abbott last night is a hero to a lot of people. A lot of people are saying he's crazy because we're going to start having more cases. And then I saw a lot of people saying 
he didn't go far enough. And so it's a no-win situation, but when you're in a leadership role, you've got to make decisions, and that's what our leaders are doing. So let's take it easy on them. All right, we, we had another confirmed case yesterday, so that's 63 total in Wichita County. Whatever you do, whether you open or not, whether you go out in public or not, just please keep yourself safe. All right, today we're continuing to work on the launch of the Pulse for tomorrow. We've got a board meeting planned for next week, a chamber board meeting, and I'm starting to work on that as well. And we are continuing to communicate with our local and state officials. So share your stories, send me your questions, let me know what's going on. Don't forget to like the Chamber's Facebook page and visit us at wichitafallschamber.com slash fallstrong for all the info related to COVID-19, including business relief, how to work remotely, and lots of other stuff. Remember, let us know what you're up to. So I'm going to close out with a quote today from a movie I have not seen yet, and my girls might be upset with me for that, but this is a pretty neat quote from Brave. Merida said, you control your destiny. You don't need magic to do it, and there are no magical shortcuts to solving your problems. I'm going to say it again. You control your destiny. You don't need magic to do it, And there are no magical shortcuts to solving your problems. A miracle is not going to save us. This is not going to miraculously go away. How we come out of this is going to hinge upon what we do. We control our destiny. You control your destiny. Don't forget that. All right, guys, have a great Tuesday. I love you all.